Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom. Today, we're gonna talk about reflections. So what is reflection? Well, reflection, of course, is something that you see in a car or something that's really shiny. But in this case, we're going to talk about studio reflectors. Now, in my work, you don't see me using a lot of reflectors. For the very simple reason, the standard reflector has a lot of, well, things that I don't really like about it, especially with placements, and it's pretty limited. But if you start using more reflectors, now it gets more interesting, but then you have to move everything around. So I was over the moon with the triflexion system, because now we actually have a reflection system that's super flexible. You can literally create, well, endless possibilities is maybe a bit high, but you can use a lot of different setups. And the cool thing is you can easily turn it around from silver to white, so you can get a lot of reflection or just a little bit. So let's go to the studio and let's set up the triflexion with Lois. Okay guys, we are in the studio. Let's take a look at the triflexion system. Now, of course, first we're gonna make a base photo with our beauty dish without the grid and no reflection at all. So let's see how that looks. Of course, first we're gonna meter the light because we wanna make sure how to set up our camera. Okay, that's 5.6. Okay, so let's take the first shot without any triflexion. As you can see, it's not bad. It looks pretty cool. But let's move that um, beauty dish a little bit more to the back that there's no light hitting our backdrop. So we're gonna feather that a little bit forward. There we go. Get a little bit of lens flare in. Nice. But as you can see, well. this is pretty harsh, right? So let's bring in the triflexion system and we're gonna open up the shadows and we're gonna give a little bit of light on the backdrop. Let me explain. Okay, so I set up the triflexion system and what I'm doing is actually I'm using the bottom one in white, the side one in white, and that's going to light up her chin and her sides. But the top one, that's the secret. The top one I'm using silver because silver gives a lot more reflection. And with the top one, we're actually going to aim it towards the backdrop. So one light is going to light our model's side, bottom, this side, and the backdrop. If everything works out. Let's try. So before the backdrop was completely dark, and now with the triflection, look at this. A beautiful lit model and a beautiful backdrop. Totally different look. And the model can even look a little bit more towards me now. Great, Lois. Love it. Now, if you don't like that light on the backdrop, no problem. We're going to take that out. Aim it towards here. And now you have a little bit of light on the backdrop, of course, from the white reflectors. But it's a lot less, as you can see. Okay, let's turn that back on again. And of course, the model also gets a lot of light from that silver reflector, but it all adds to the mood of the picture. Absolutely love this setup. Great. So as you can see, with the triflexion system, you can light up your model's face, the side, the chin, but also use it in the backdrop. And this is just one of the many possibilities of the triflexion because it's three reflectors. You can mount it any way you want. You can even use it on three separate stands. Everything is delivered with the system except the stands. So triflexion for beautiful reflections. Now, as you see, that was a really, really nice setup. Without the triflexion, it's a nice high contrast portrait. I absolutely love it. But with the triflexion, you see that you almost go towards a beauty portrait. Just change your light a little bit more from the front and you actually have that beautiful, well, beauty light. Now, beauty lights are, of course, created with, well, soft light qualities. So for the beauty light, I actually prefer to use the white sides of the reflector. But if you are more into the high contrast stuff, that's actually when you can use the silver side of the reflectors. Now, as mentioned in the studio, you can also, of course, take all the reflectors off and mount them on different stands. All the accessories are delivered with the triflexion system. The only thing you have to bring is, well, the stands to put them on. I absolutely love the system, but mostly because it's so flexible. And that's one of the limitations I find in a lot of systems. You have one setup that works great, maybe you have a second one that works okay, and that's about it. 
with this system, well, the sky is the limit. And especially because you can also combine that white with silver. Now, the Triflexion system is also available on our website. So check it out and you can order it online. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Smash that like button because we really like that. But most of all, tell other people about our channel so we can grow. See you again next time. Bye, guys.